Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to talk to you today about ad networks and how they're slowing down your website. This is a new feature we're trying on WP Sitecare, just kind of illustrating some concepts that when we write them out and spell them out are probably a little more complex than they need to be, but when we get them on a whiteboard like this, they're a lot easier to understand. Let's talk through ad networks. This is you sitting at home. This Everybody knows this is what a computer looks like now. And this is your website. This is your web host. This is, uh, you know, a media temple, a WP engine, a site ground, something, something like that. And this is where your, web where your website is sitting. What happens when somebody goes to visit your website and this computer, you know, some reader wants to learn about your cookies and uh, they look for a cookie recipe and they make a request to your server right here. When they make that request, a whole bunch of different things happen. One, your server loads up a lot of assets like uh, images and styles and those types of things and it sends them directly back to this reader and they can get content pretty quickly. When you start adding ads to the equation, that's when things get a little more complex. If if ads aren't being audited and validated and put through some quality control checks, some really ugly things happen. When you make, when your reader wants to learn about your latest chocolate chip cookie recipe, they make that initial request and then your server has to start reaching out to these other servers. And these are what we call horrible ad servers. This is where ads, you know, all the flash and animated images and all that garbage lives. What happens when you get these ads loading from all these different servers all over the world is a real mess because depending on a couple of technical factors like whether ads are loading asynchronously, things like that, it's very possible that when your website reaches out to this ad server and says, hey, send me back an ad, this ad is, this ad is sitting on a server that hasn't been upgraded in 15 years and is sitting out on the internet in some dude's basement and is not sending that ad back. And if it's not if it's not an optimized ad, it has the real capability of holding up every single ad that loads after that. So you can really run into support performance bottlenecks, especially when you have not only six ad servers out in the world, but say on your website, you're requesting assets from 300 ad servers, which is a real possibility and something we've seen in real life. So really what you want to do is cut down on the number of ad servers that are serving requests. You want to have all of the ad providers and ad networks that you're working with go through some really rigorous quality control so you don't get the server in some dude's basement. You want to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. So this is our first iteration of walking through a complex concept, hopefully in a way that's a little more clear, a little bit easier to understand, and will help you understand how ad networks are gonna slow down your website. If you've got questions about anything, go ahead and hit us up in the comments, reach out to us on Twitter, we'll help out however we can.